Hey everyone, this is Oso Mokabayashi and welcome back to the Croc Rock channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create a select filter with a manual input data source based on the select meta fill type using the jet swat filters. So let me show you quickly what you can achieve here. So I got the listing page for events and then um, I have a meta field here. So this is the size of the venue. Okay, so one to 10 people and there's some videos big 51 to 100 people and this is a kind of mid size 11 to 50 people and i have select filter right here and as you can see so the user can pick um the which venue size they like to see and uh, so let's say i got the one to ten people small venue so you can filter that again so if you want a bigger venue here so users can see bigger venue events. And here are the topics that I would like to cover today. You need a jet engine plugin and the jet smart filters plugin. And I'd like to show you how to create a certain meta field uh, for the custom post type or CBT and creating a select filter with the jet smart filters and adding the select filter on the CBT listing page. I'm going to be using event listing page for this demo. And I'll show you again uh, the result. All right, so let's dive in. So let's create a meta field for this event. So I created an event. So this is a CTP custom post type. So I'm going to Jet Engine and the post type. And I have events here. I got the meta field here. So I'm going to add a new meta field. And I'm going to call it to um, the number of people. And the object type, uh, this is field is okay. And the field type is gonna be select. All right, so right here, okay. And then source, uh, I'm gonna use a glossary um, here. Just one sec, I'm gonna just hit update here. And let's show you, uh, I usually use a glossary. Go to GenNG here. And then glossary here. And I already added the, the number of people. So 1 to 10, 11 to 50, and 51 to 100 people. Okay. And then let's go back to uh, post type event. Okay. So right here, so I'm going to be using, instead of manual input, I'm going to just use a glossary. And which glossary? Number of people. All right, so I'm going to just uh, use a quick edit support here. And uh, so I've added the uh, added, uh, admin column here and hit update. Now let's go to uh, event page. Well, event uh, post. And they here, so I'm going to just, um, yeah, I already filled out. Yeah, so this is, you can just uh, change hit update. And let's go to smart filter. So we're going to add a new filter here. So add a new. And the filter name. All right. So we're going to select filter type. Select. And then the data source is going to be, uh, we're going to be using manual input. Okay. So option list. So we're going to just uh, put the one, two, and then, so the value is going to be, so I'm going to just go back to um, glossary. Yeah, that's, so we need, uh, so this value here. Okay, so I'm going to just copy and paste. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, duplicate that. And then, so this is going to be... So just to make sure, I think that's the one. All right. So the last one is, yeah, 51 to 100 people. So, uh, and then value is going to be 51 dash 100. Okay. And then, so uh, go down. So we need to put the uh, query variable. So let's go to uh, post type. Uh, this is the event. And uh, remember this, we just created this. New meta field, a number of people. And then, so just copy this name ID. And then paste onto back to smart filters. And then query variable. So I'm going to paste that. 
and then compare so operator uh, has to be yes equal is good okay and then just put the label okay and then hit update all right so let's go to pages and i have already created the event listing page here and the edit with elementor And then here is a listing page for all the events here. Okay. So as you see, um, the room capacity is here. All right. So I need the select filter. Okay. So this one and bring just the right here and the select filter. So I put down. Um, yeah. Number of people for events. So this is the one. And then this filter is for jet engine. Okay, so Ajax is fine and value change fine. And then the rest is okay. So I'm gonna just uh, hit update. Okay, so let's check it out. Go. Okay, so I got the filter here. So let's try this out. So one to 10 people. Okay, so the one to 10 people here. And then 11 to 50 people. All right, so 11 to 50 people. And the last one, 51 to 100 people. Okay, 51 to 100 people. All right. All right, that's all for today. Please feel free to share your thought in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and see you the next time.